How's it going everybody? Thank you all for coming back to my channel. It means a lot. I'm doing something extremely different today. I'm going to be doing a reaction, I guess you would call it. Also, I'm filming very differently today. I can actually see myself in the camera, so if it if it looks like I'm looking at myself a lot, it's uh, just to make sure I don't look like shit. That's all that is. Um, so yeah, hopefully I can handle this new filming pretty well. So today I'm going to be looking at a fairly old list. This came out in September of 2020. It's the updated uh, 500 Greatest Albums list. The original being from 2003. Um, and it had an update in 2012. Interested to look at this. I do know some of the placements. Um, I know what number one is. I know some of the other ones. But I haven't like gone through the entire list and looked um so this will be interesting i'll just be stopping at certain albums that i feel like i have something to say or if i have a refute to anything or whatever just basically give my thoughts uh like a reaction pretty much okay you got a little slideshow right here okay you got some prints all right is that lauren hill i think from fuji's fame got fleetwood mac rumors Beatles Abbey Road, classics. It says the classics are still the classics, but the canon keeps getting bigger and bigger. So I guess that means there'll be more kind of newer music, basically. John Mayer Continuum. Uh, know a couple songs off the album. Um, I actually do think John Mayer is pretty underrated. I think most people look at him and they just look at the fact that he's like dated a bunch of hot chicks in the past. Uh, and they just are jealous, I think. But I think he's an excellent guitar player and um, makes decent music. I don't think he makes great music, but I, everything I've heard of him, I think, has been pretty solid. So he's underrated in my book. Daddy Yankee. The only thing I know him from, I think, is Despacito. He, he had a feature on that song. Um, that's weird. Okay. Paul and Linda McCartney, Ram absolutely should be on this list uh i absolutely love this album some of his best songs in my opinion they worked really well together you know linda provided some great harmonies and backing vocals to a lot of his songs ringo Starr said the lack of good songs made him sad made him sad britney spears um no Billie Eilish, When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go, at the 397 spot. I think this album's fine. Whenever I did listen to it, it was like a friend of mine playing it in the car. Well, actually, it was my cousin playing it in the car, but I consider her a friend. I was, you know, just listening to it in the background. We were talking and stuff, so I wasn't really listening to, like, the lyrics or the instrumentations, but it was fine. I wasn't a huge fan of it, but... You know, definitely not the worst thing to come out. George Harrison, All Things Must Pass. A uh, very good album. I do find it to be a little bit overrated, especially with the last 30 minutes of it just being an instrumental. Like, it's basically just like a jam session in the last 30 minutes. I'm just gonna skip that part, because I don't care, honestly. Yeah, overall, it's a very good album. Definitely some of his best songs on this record, for sure. R.I.P. Daft Punk. The Benz, oh, it's good. Uh, definitely not better than some of the other ones I pointed out, in my opinion, but, I mean, it's... It's a it's a good record. I think it's all right. American Idiot, absolutely not. That is such an overrated album. I don't get the hype over it. I mean, yeah, it does have some good singles for sure, but I mean, it's hard to explain. It's hard to explain. I I was just very underwhelmed by it overall. I know it does tell a story. It is a concept album. I. I just don't get it, personally. I don't get the hype. Okay, I'm really not a fan of there being compilation albums on this uh, list. To be honest, I think it's kind of cheating. I think it, they should really just be looking at the studio albums. I just don't think it's fair, really. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of that. That is fine. I don't know if I would put it on the list, but it's okay. Jerry Spoker on Morning Glory. Uh, love this album. Love Oasis. CD right here. Got it right. Right there. Grace is a great album. I still don't know why more people don't know who Jeff Buckley is. I mean, yeah, I get it. You know, he died young. The album wasn't that successful initially, but I mean, the dude made really good music. I think he deserves a lot more recognition. Got more of these compilations. I don't know what's wrong with them. Why do they think that that, like, should work for this list? I just don't get it. The Wall, probably my favorite Pink Floyd album. Um, yeah, I don't mind this placing. I think that's a 
good spot. Never mind the bollocks. Very overrated. Super overrated. I think, like, if you listen to one of the songs from this album by itself, it's really cool. It's a lot of fun. You know, it's early punk rock. It's it's cool. Listening to the album from front to, from front to back is just really frustrating because all the songs sound the same. There's no variety. White Album, I think, is good. I don't think it's as great as most people say it is. Personally, I don't know if I would even include it on this list. If I would, I would probably go like in the 400s somewhere. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's like this amazing masterpiece that a lot of people think. But I mean, it's it is it's a very good album. It's very good. Uh, but yeah, I don't don't think it's amazing by any means. Kanye West in the top 20. Wow, that's interesting. Um, I think I've heard some songs off of this album. Haven't heard it all the way through. But, I mean, yeah, I think Kanye's fine. I don't mind his music. Okay. Nevermind is great. It's a great album. Um, but, not top 10. Are you serious? Top 10? Top 10? It's great. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. Pet Sounds at number two once again. Yeah, amazing album. The vinyl half for it is kind of messed up. There's like a lot of parts where it skips, which is kind of upsetting, but... I mean, I can get over it. All right, so those are my thoughts on this list. Not as bad of a list as I thought it would be. I was expecting it to be a lot of cringe. There was some cringe in there for sure, but I mean, overall, I don't mind this update. I do think that the other, the 2003 list or 2012 list is better overall. Yeah, not a bad list. Not the worst thing in the world. I don't think it was a rough list like Fantano thought, but um, yeah, it was fun. Let me guys know what you thought if you're watching this. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And yeah, take it easy. Bye.